Good morning, everyone. I'm Ariane Arambiro with your FastCast digital headlines for this Thursday. Taking a look at today's top stories that we are following, two men are in custody after the Anchorage High Intensity Drug Trafficking Area Task Force seized more than $50,000 worth of drugs, guns, and cash, 358 grams of methamphetamine worth about $28,000, four guns and $25,000 in cash seen in this photo here were all discovered after a search warrant was issued. 28-year-old Brian Anthony and 37-year-old Terry Hinton Jr. are both being held at the Anchorage jail on multiple weapons and drug charges. New this morning, President Biden is set to announce $7.3 billion in investments toward clean energy projects in rural areas, and some of that money is headed to Alaska. The first round of 16 companies selected includes Golden Valley Electric Association in Fairbanks. Biden is expected later today in Wisconsin. The White House says the funding will help speed up the transition to clean energy in rural communities while also creating jobs. And there's a lot to keep up with if you're a parent and if you live in Anchorage, one additional problem is finding child care. But one local group is looking for a solution by targeting money directly to that issue. According to a newly released report, the city should spend between 4.5 to $5 million towards child care industries like daycares. The money would come from the city's marijuana tax revenue. Two and a half million would be allocated to help daycares and preschools. The other two million would be to cover the cost of child care for those working in the child care sector. Some communities have found success in covering um, the cost of child care for those, those workers um, so that it's easier for them to be at work and they're not having to pay that expense. The assembly said it's up to Mayor Suzanne LaFrance on how she wants to spend the money. That budget is due on October 1st. And those are your FastCast digital headlines for this Thursday. I'm Ariane Aaron Bureau. Have a great day and thanks for watching.